this is just a friendly reminder about company policy regarding the safe rule. At no point should a customer go inside. Management has also been made aware that the spring body of the truck has been noticeably moved. So here we are, my body inside this nightmare. Don't you spend for too long at my class. It happens in the past. What happened in the past is something that one comes to fearing us. Hey guys, Bree Phoenix here, and oh boy, do I got a surprise for you guys. I redid Springtrap completely, and his eye is like a little bit derpy, but I did my best. I re-sculpted him with actual foam, like I did with Bonnie in my dead security guard in Foxy. I actually, and I uh, cut up the liquid latex face I made before, and kind of just like glued it in the holes, like you see the brain there, and you can see you know, his skin, where his neck is, and all that. And the eyes are ping pong balls. I almost used the same eyes from the other spring trap, but those eyes were already, like, kind of destroyed. So I just made new ones out of ping pong balls with that heart. I, I used a different base. I used a, uh, a movable jaw base for this build. But the rest of it is pretty much the basic fursuit head base, you know, like you just glue it around, cut a couple eye holes, and then you sculpt with the foam and shape it down. And you use an elastic to attach the jaw so it, the jaw can move. I'll show you what I mean. Alright, so this is my spring trap cosplay. I should have made the eye holes a little bit bigger because I have like only my perpetual. I can't speak today. I've only like my side vision right now. If I kind of move around a little bit, I can see better in the front. And if I make wide mouth movements, I can make them talk. Because I want to still be able to pull the face open like my original plan. Except for now, I'm just going to use makeup instead of the liquid latex um, mask underneath because I'm going to sweat to death in my convention if I wear two masks because latex doesn't breathe and I'm already going to be hot because I'm going to be building the rest of the fursuit for this and whatnot. But uh, yeah, this is how it looks so so far. I basically finished the entire head. Um, I'm sorry I didn't have any like updates in this because I wasn't even sure how this one was going to turn out. Um, I might put some pictures in before the video or after the video or sometime showing like you know how it goes like how from start to finish uh but yeah stay tuned and i will i will try to actually um film myself actually building the rest of the costume because <laughs> that's what you guys subscribe for <laughs> and uh yeah see you guys next time oh and one more thing um Special shout out to my good friend Jasmona. She's all the way in California, but she's a FNAF Five Nights at Freddy's cosplayer like me. And you should check out her channel. It's also pretty awesome. I'll put a link somewhere in this video or in the description. It'll be somewhere. Um, yeah, and she's, I know she has a couple of different Five Nights at Freddy's cosplays, and I know eventually she's gonna sell them, so if you're gonna, if you wanna purchase one, you know, and you get in contact with her and you can buy one from her. Um, I also have an Etsy shop, uh, right now I only have Foxy on there, and, um, I have Majora's Mask on there, and a couple other masks. Eventually I'm gonna put, like, Wither Bonnie, like, made to order on there, and then maybe if Springtrap gets in good enough good reviews, I'll put him on there as well. But made to more order, of course, because he's my baby and I love him. <laughs> so, yeah. Check out Jazz and possibly my um, Etsy page, which is called The Phoenix Shop, you know, because I'm Brie Phoenix. Get it? Alright guys, I need some sleep. I'm tired.